What's up everybody, it's your friendly neighborhood Hug Nichols back again with another reaction video as always by my side, Hot Sam. Hot Sam! And today we're going to be doing another reaction to Darren Espanto and uh, Morissette Amon. This time we're doing Chandelier. We did each one of their chandeliers by themselves. Uh, now they're doing it as like a duet at the Wish FM Awards. So this live showdown, everybody's been telling us we have to watch this because we loved both of their performances of mm -hmm. Chandelier. I'm I, so curious to see how they're gonna I was match. Gonna say, I just wonder what it's gonna be like. Yeah, I'm like so curious. Let's just get Let's right into see it. See what's up. Let us hear two of the most powerful voices in the Philippine music industry. We've got OPM's next big diva, Morrison, and the total performer, Darren Espando. Is there no Does audio? Does it actually show them or no? Yeah, it does. Yeah. Okay, okay. Doesn't he look like little Mr. Swagger? Mm -hmm. Party girls don't get her care. Feel anything one with that love. I push it down, I push it down. I love the glitter in his suit. How the one who gets up, pop, pop, blow in love. Oh, get it, girl. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I love when she does that! Wow! That's so awesome! I know. Oh my gosh, when they hit those high notes, it's like, oh my gosh. Wow. 
like I I loved the way they went together because they were still like broken into their own like style, yeah. but it came together so so much this better is than I much thought. Exactly like I called it when I said you know if they did this together, what it would be like. It's pretty much exactly the way I called it. So I imagined it a hundred percent like this. What I love, I love that she has like that almost growl in her voice. Yeah. Uh, as it gets later in the song, where she's just like speaking, it's almost like spoken word instead of yeah. um, the song. And I love that. I love that rasp in her voice. Yeah. When she like kind of squeaks, like I like that a lot. I love. And the uh, I really dig just how smooth his vocals are. Yeah. Um. And they both know. seem so, like, confident. Like, they're just, like, belting it out like it's nothing. We talked well, about that, you know, how And it's I just like, like them together. I feel like their personalities yeah, meld well. They do. Because they both just look like they're out there having fun. They're both younger. Like, just, I don't yeah. know, the outfits. It just looked really cool, relaxed and is I what it was. And I will say, like, these people that we react to, these two and along with Fourth Impact, they are so humble. Because at the end mm. of this performance, she said... Darren, everybody, yeah. and he said, more set. Yeah. And it's just like, they are like taking the focus off of themselves and giving it to like the other. Yeah, and that's just so like, like my gosh, is it is it just Filipino people who are just it super, could, super humble? Well, I was going to say, it like, could be the fact that we're just Americans and most Americans are cocky, horrible people. Yeah. <laughs> so like, it's like, spotlight's on me. Check yeah, me out. like, don't take but your eyes yeah, off yeah, of exactly. me. It's about me. But uh, very cool performance. Blown away. Um... I don't really know what else to say. The The beat was a little weird. Like, it almost felt yeah. like it had a little funk on it. Yeah. Like, it, it didn't feel like, like the regular chandelier, like, progression. Yeah, it was like chandelier rock and roll. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, well, to me, it felt almost like it had, like, Slow. not a reggae beat, but, like, kind of a funk, yeah. like, vibe to yeah. it. Yeah. Um, so that was kind of weird, but it didn't affect their vocals at all or anything. I thought their vocals were amazing. This is honestly one of the best uh, performances, one of the best songs that we've ever reacted to. Yeah. Um, I think it's just because these two are like such great pure vocalists. And I am more slightly turned towards Darren than Morissette when it comes to uh, the vocals. I think I mm-hmm. like her attitude a lot more. Like I would have to be in two different moods to listen to them. Yeah, I get what you're saying. Yeah, because they're two very, very two different people, mm-hmm. but... They go together so well. They counter each other so well. Like, is counter each other the right word? Like they, Counterbalance. Yeah, they, they counterbalance. Balance each other. Yeah. Now, going in after this, we're going back. We're going to check out some more Fourth Impact Week 4. Um, and then we have another artist on the Wish FM bus that we're going to be checking out who's doing another cover. You guys have been so good at showing us new artists and, and performances that just really blow us away. So far, this is the best one in my book. So it's yes. going to be hard to, to top this one yes. for me. Um, but let us know in the comments down below what you think. What did you think of the performance? And I don't know. Tell us some more people to react to because mm-hmm. this was really cool. I'm curious to know what's, what's <clears throat> next because there was like hundreds of comments that was yeah, like we've been getting a ton asking for this one like, for some uh, for some other artists as well. Yeah, uh, we've been getting a lot. And basically, people just say everything from the Wish FM bus. They're like, this is a world of amazing music. Just check it yeah. out. So we may go through and just pick and choose mm-hmm. uh, some more artists from there. But let us know in the comments down below what you think. If you like this video, click that like button. If you want to see our future videos, give that subscribe button a hug. And we'll welcome you to the fam. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.